maize seed. The maize grain is a caryopsis type single seeded dry fruit. It is a monocot seed with one cotyledon and has the endosperm for the nourishment of the embryo. A longitudinal section of the maize grain shows a seed coat and a single cotyledon known as the scutellum. The outermost coat enclosing the entire grain is formed by inseparably fused fruit coat and seed coat and is called hull. The endosperm occupies about one third of the total seed and is located at the broader end of the maize grain. Beneath the hull, there is a continuous layer called an areolon layer, which contains large cubicle cells containing proteins. The rest of the endosperm consists of starch laden cells, which also contain some lipid. The embryo of the maize grain is located beneath the endosperm. All these parts are enclosed completely in a shield shaped scutellum, which is the cotyledon. The embryo consists of a radical which is partially covered and protected by a coleoriza and plumule which is partially covered and protected by a coleoptil. The radical grows into the root while the plumule grows into the shoot. To summarize, a cross section of a maize seed shows the maize grain is a monocot seed. The outermost coat called hull encloses the entire grain and is formed of fruit coat and seed coat. The endosperm is starch laden and is surrounded by an aleurone layer. The embryo is enclosed within a scutellum. The embryo consists of a radical and a plumule. Radical is partially covered and protected by the coleoriza while the plumule is partially covered and protected by the coleoptil. I think we can all agree flowers are complicated and they display a wide diversity in their adaptations and modifications, which means there is still plenty to learn. So let's continue exploring.